Many people have downtime in the cold winter months, so why not spend some of it organizing your home? Here to help us declutter is Lauren Giamarco Silvera. Welcome back. Thank you. This is this is huge for a lot yeah. of people, especially lately, and you're cooped up inside, and you really start assessing and looking at all the stuff that's yeah. piling up. If there's one resolution that I feel like is the most important stepping into the new year, it's making that commitment to decluttering your home because mm -hmm. that lasting benefit is going to carry with you all throughout the year. And sometimes that means getting rid of some items and other times it's just kind of reorganizing and shuffling things around to, yes. to maybe see them better, to know exactly mm -hmm. what you have. I can't tell you right. how many times you've dug around in a box and gone, I forgot I even ha owned that object or piece of clothing yeah. or whatever it is. can be a very overwhelming process. Mm -hmm. Where do you suggest we actually start when we're decluttering? So I want to talk a little bit about sentimental items mm -hmm. and where to start with that because I know that a lot of people hit a roadblock yes. in terms of making decisions on what to keep and what to let go of. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when you're viewing your home as one giant space that is sort of like a storage unit, you want to kind of shift the focus and zone in on where you can start with small things and then okay. sort of build build up the momentum to make it easier for you to let the things go. So what are maybe some of those small things that we could tackle? So I want to talk a little bit about today how to store the items and think in terms of sentimental items should be something that is cherished mm -hmm. and honored. Right. And if you're storing it properly and you're displaying it properly, it's going to be something that you that brings you joy. Mm -hmm. And if it's scattered all throughout the home, um, I feel like it just becomes clutter. And yes. it could be photos. It, Photos, those are something really hard. You know, never want to throw those out. But sometimes right. they're just thrown in a shoebox, or you know, you, right. you have good intentions of filing them, and you never do. Mm -hmm. So what do you suggest? So for photos, it's albums take up a lot of space on the shelf. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this storage box is that it's going to hold, it's it's small, yeah. and it's going to hold over 600 photos. Wow. And Right. And then you can label each one. Yeah, so you definitely want to label. Mm -hmm. And it's preference. You can do it by year, or you can do it by the event. I choose to do it by the event. OK, yep. And it's OK to let photos go. Really? So if you have an album with 25 of one event, you can keep a few mm -hmm. and then maybe give them to family members yeah. or, um, or let them go. Especially a lot of older photos. I feel like there's always a million pictures from the zoo, and yeah. I don't need 30,000 right. pictures of a giraffe from <laughs> when I was true. in second grade. So maybe, yeah, you can start right. to filter, be time to move filter on from those, those out. Um, right. How about here? What do you suggest? So this is what I call a memory box, and mm -hmm. you want to label first, of course. And I chose a clear box because I like that you can see what's happening inside. Yeah. And when you're approaching, okay, so say it's like concert tickets or um, mm -hmm. an item, item of clothing or just something Right, like baby clothes I think a yes, lot of people hang on to. Exactly. Um, so what this does is this designates the amount of space that you're going to have to store these items. Okay, so you're automatically limiting yourself. You're saying whatever yes. can fit in this box, that's all I'm keeping. Right. And what, so you're going to put your items inside and then you're also going to take it a step further. Mm -hmm. And you want to store it in an area of your home where it's not going to collect dust. Okay. Again, the idea is to honor these memories. Yeah, maybe so. revisit them frequently if you're seeing it a yes. lot. You will. Right. Exactly. All great tips. I think that's great. And you know what? These are two simple things that you can probably tackle over the next couple of days mm -hmm. and feel like you've done some good. Good tips to keep in mind. Stay busy. Get organized. You can head to our website for more.